Hello guys, in this video I am going to uh, show you how to overclock your graphics card. Overclocking in uh, simple terms means increasing your performance of the graphic card above its uh, factory limit. So uh, the graphic card which I am having is the NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1650 and this graphic card is a mid tier graphic card with almost uh, 4 GB of GDDR6 um, uh, memory and has a performance of up to 3.4 teraflops and uh, for overclocking your graphic card we need uh, two different tools uh, which is called MSI Afterburner and MSI Combustor. MSI is a Taiwan based gaming laptop manufacturing company and uh, to download both these uh, softwares I have given the links uh, in the description okay please check it out and uh, after downloading both the files you will be having these two files this one as well as this one this is an ISO file after burner setup a zip archive so you should unzip it with either WinRAR or 7-zip and you'll get this file you should go into this and install this file this is a very simple setup so you can do it yourself and uh, this is MSI combustor and after installing MSI afterburner you can also install the combustor okay after installing open both the applications and in MSI afterburner we have like uh, six uh, uh, possibilities of tuning and for me only two uh, are possible to be changed the other four are locked you can see the core voltage power limit temperature limit as well as the fan speed are all managed internally by the motherboard so you can change the core clock as well as the memory clock the core clock has a base clock of over 1380 MHz and uh, the memory clock that is memory refers to the RAM possessed by the graphic card which is around 6000 MHz and the uh, idle temperature is around 43 degrees Celsius and I have the latest drivers up updated and for updating your drivers you can use the GeForce Experience software which you can again download from the net and uh, after opening this software you also need to open the software called MSI Combustor and uh, in this I uh, can use uh, the run stress test. MSI Combustor can be used to run both the GPU stress test which is the top option and we have uh, the bottom CPU burner. You can use both these to stress out your CPU as well as GPU and uh, find its true potential. Alright and uh, let's uh, go for a run stress test 720 by 1280 it's better to always go with a lower resolution than your uh, uh, panel. Okay. So I'll click run stress test. This will load. You can keep it side by side. And I'll keep the tessellation into 8. As you can see, the temperature is around 50 degrees now. It's uh, increasing. The CPU load is 20% uh, and the uh, CPU temperature is 60 degrees. GPU load is 100%. And let me increase the tessellation to 16x. The FPS will drop and you can expect an increase in uh, the temperature of the GPU and uh, let me keep it back to 8x so that it will be easy for you to overclock and now uh, we can increase the core clock little by little let me keep uh, like 100 first and you can gradually see the FPS increase I think like 2 to 3 FPS has been increased. So let's go with memory clock uh, like 200. Yeah, it has been increased like 4 5 FPS. It is differing. And let's go for a core clock uh, to 150. Uh, I've already tested uh, above 150, and uh, if we keep it above 150, the core clock, uh, if it is above 150, then uh, I could sense that the GPU is becoming unstable, so it's better to go uh, step by step, a little by little. And memory clock, uh, I can increase it much. Let's go with like 400. Okay, 400. So 50 FPS, and it's still differing. 51, and let me increase the memory clock uh, like. 600 there should be some good amounts of difference in that yeah 
52 fps the maximum was 52 fps now and let's go with like 750 i could hear the fans blowing at full speed now Actually, you could see that uh, this entire picture is moving, this video is moving and rendering at different places. That's why you can see the FPS decrease even though we overclock. So, actually in this setting, I, I feel GTX 1650 is the most stable. Core clock at 150 plus 150 and memory clock at 750. And you can also see the temperatures. That's also very good. 56 degrees only. So, in this way, it's around 50 FPS. There is almost like 5 to 6 FPS increase with this setting. You can also increase it further and uh, it will be nice if it doesn't crash. But at a particular point, uh, I tried core clock of around 200 and suddenly it crashed. So, better to keep it at a little bit low value. 150 and 750 is stable for GTX 1650. And for some uh, GPUs of the same variant, it may also go like 200, 220. But for, but for me, it's uh, stable at 150 only. And this is how I overclocked my GPU. And in real world usage, like if you're playing uh, AAA titles, you could uh, feel a difference of like around uh, 10 FPS at least increase will be increased. And your 1% uh, is low and 0.1% is low will also be improved. And as you see, we have like around 50 FPS now. And uh, if I reset it to the, then this is in the overclocked setting. And if I reset it now, it will reduce. I reset it now, and it will slowly reduce. This is an easier place to render. So it's still like 45, 46. Let me now again. Uh, oh yeah, it's 44 now. Let me now click, uh, select the overclock setting, 750. Four to six to 48, 50, 49, so 51. So we can see like around uh, 6 to maximum of 5 to 6%. I mean, 5 to 6 FPS increase. So it's a pretty good uh, thing, you know. And uh, after doing this, you can uh, uh, press escape to quit it. And now we can see that it has stopped. And using this, we can also stress test, test your CPU. But I'm not going to do that now. And uh, in order to uh, save your settings, you can uh, choose the values that you want. And you can click this symbol profile. You can save it in any uh, any number. I've saved it in number 2. And I can click number 2 and I can save. And I can also click the startup icon. So that you don't need to come again into this app and select these settings and save it again and again. This will uh, do it automatically whenever you start up. So, only when you get this core clock, memory clock uh, as a stable value, you should be setting this startup, uh, I mean, clicking the startup uh, button. Okay. And uh, you can click the settings, uh, this one, this option. And you can go and you can see like, uh, go to monitoring. And uh, you can select whatever you want to monitor in your in-game uh, uh, gameplay. So that you can see the temperature of your GPU, GPU usage the video ram usage your uh, power limit your core clock what's it's going on and all these things can be uh, seen for example if you want to see the frame rate you can select these options and click it and show in on screen display okay average frame play i mean average uh, frame rate you can select and click apply and do this okay. and if you have a desktop uh, processor uh then you can even increase the fan speed at your own uh, will all right and that's that's as of now this is all my content for this video and i will see you soon okay bye bye take care